What's going on, everybody? It's Chadish. We're back at it again with that next event update for y'all today. Thank y'all so much for tuning in because you don't even know right now. Uh, yeah, buddy. We got ourselves the next HOH. It is the Light Burning Magician Gemini. Wow. Wow, come to us. Wow. Just when I thought y'all couldn't do it, y'all done it again. I cannot believe it, guys. We are definitely lucky especially for those free to play players out there getting the unit is going to provide you a wide variety of stuff but even before we get into all that let's take a look at the rules for those that are new to the game or not familiar with the hoa so once a month every month comp to us gives us the opportunity to farm ourselves a four star unit uh, in the hall of heroes we're going to have three days and three days only to collect the 50 pieces needed to get this unit and hopefully uh, if you guys have yourself uh, some extra time, you can go ahead and get some extra units so you can skill it up. If you have other units in the game uh, with regards to, you know, whatever you need to skill up, you know, those Dracos, those Ryan, so on and so forth. So again, 50 pieces is what you need and you go to be, it's going to be going on from November 11th to November 14th. Okay. So as I always say, jump on it, get to it and be about it. All right. This is what it is. Generally, people are going to be like, is it good? Is it food? Stop everything. This is obviously good. You can tell in my excitement, this is about to go down. We got to have this unit. You better stop what you're doing. Stop all your things. Cancel all your appointments. Send the wife and family on over <laughs> to the store. Go do some stuff. You got some You got some farming to do. You know what I'm saying? It's going down. So let's take a look at this unit. Uh, oh, my God. How many times could we say in the video, oh, my God, right? I can't even believe it. Gemini, one of the units that I've been wanting for so, so long, because if you guys have been following me for quite some time, I've been really looking at some kind of unit that can mix it up, that can assist me in the Guild War offense, but most notably defense here. So, hashtag, rest in peace, real runes. It's coming down for you, for real, okay? Gemini, the light branded magician. Let's take a look at this kit. Uh, first skill, uh, just like all the other uh, all the other uh, Brandon Magicians, having the opportunity to have that violent turn, get that additional turn for 30% chance uh, on this skill. Second skill, uh, hitting all the enemies with uh, the uh, giant orbs, and it's going to be breaking the defense for one turn. This is going to be a landing, a crushing hit, so uh, it's going to... Uh, it's going to land a crushing hit regardless of the enemy's attribute. So for me, with regards to some of these crushing hits out there, I've definitely seen myself, you know, had better opportunities to land it more so than other skills. So, you know, keep that in mind when you're looking for a certain combination of units or a certain unit that's going to provide you that defense break to kind of go along with the composition that you're bringing if you really need something like that uh, in your kind of, you know, team or whatnot. Uh, last but not least, we got ourselves the small grudge. This is going to be... That, that that icing on the cake, uh, the bread and the butter of this particular unit. If you guys are not familiar with this, you better ask somebody, okay? Increases the attack power 50% um, if your HP ratio is lower than the target enemy's HP ratio. Take note, we're talking about HP ratio and not HP. Some people might get it twisted on that, okay? And then in addition to that, uh, removes one beneficial effect of the enemy if you have less beneficial effects on the uh, if you have less beneficial effects on the enemy so um, this can be that clutch unit that you can utilize uh, in your offense uh, to go ahead and strip I mean offense or defense to go ahead and strip the opponent's will if you have less beneficial effects than the opponent okay so keep that in mind again a lot of us do not have uh, you know, really good units out there to 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 provide that 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 strippy type of effect. So if you're looking for that unit that can potentially strip it, put that defense break on it, and even potentially stun it if you play around with that despair set, um, you're in for a treat on this particular unit. Okay. And last but not least, we have that leader skill providing that a universal 90% attack speed. Again, depending on what type of composition you're going to use, uh, this is going to be uh, an amazing unit. So uh, again. Uh, for those that you know are looking to get this unit or stop what you're doing, get this unit. You got to have it. Um, but uh, definitely take the time to farm as many as you can. You can make an argument for skill in this one up, but I want to kind of draw my attention to all of you guys that are familiar with my, uh, as you guys know, my little, uh, my my unit up here, my my end game picture, whatnot. This is my favorite unit of all time. I definitely want you guys. Uh, to get the uh, skill ups as much as you can uh, for this particular unit. This is going to be a big, big impact um, if you are using, uh, if you have this particular unit, if you're trying to use it in the PvP setting, okay? Why is that? 
Um, Harmless Prank, uh, one of the biggest uh, game changers out there when it comes to that RNG factor. I love this unit. Uh, being able to uh, remove a bench official effect, stun, defense break, and disturb HP recovery. It's all randomized. And, you know, with regards to that Guild War setting, we have less units out there. So that's going to reduce the RNG of it going on another unit if we have four units on the arena. And this time around, it's going to be three units. So uh, this particular skill is an amazing unit, not just for the, the kit that it brings, but for the speed uh, or the turns that it can be reduced with regards to that cooldown time. This can be reduced down to three turns. And so when we're talking about a unit out there that has that violent proc skill on the first and then, you know, uh, can generate those additional turns and then use this third skill uh, again, uh, this is solid. I love it. I'm a big, big fan of this one. Uh, you see a lot of people utilize it in the arena on that Swift set. You see a lot of people use a combination of either Swift or that, that, that violence set, depending on what their kind of goals are, their intentions are with regards to their composition, this is a key unit uh, to incorporate in it. But again, you will not see anybody recommend this unit uh, to utilize unless you got that third skill max for sure, okay? Um, I do want to take a mention uh, to the Draco as well. Draco is an amazing unit out there. If you are looking for the attack bar buff or with that immunity, he's gonna bring that to the mix in addition to that HP lead, but again, uh, as I said before, if you have those extra skill ups, you can uh, get lucky and try to skill this one up so you can max it out. This one can get reduced to four turns, unlike the Orion that can get reduced to three turns on the third skill. But again, if you're looking for incorporating this unit, you want to take advantage of it by uh, reducing those skill ups. Uh, sorry, improving those skill ups and reducing that cooldown time and whatnot. Uh, the Aquila unit, uh, people are a big fan of this unit. They do play around with it with a cleave, you know. If they're looking for that AOE cleanser um, and uh, combination of buffer, this is kind of unique because, again, depending on how you decide to use it with regards to your setup, I do see a lot of people have that option of going, uh, you know, can cleanse with it and, and, and essentially provide that attack buff, you know, afterwards. Now, generally speaking, I see people utilize a different type of unit that's going to provide those buffs for you, like a Galleon. After this one, you know, go ahead and buff removes. But again, uh, we want to go ahead and mention this because this gives us option if the opponent does not have the weird wounds. And of course, the attack buff and the critical rate, the attack buff is going to be kind of redundant because you have the units that bring the attack buff. But if you do have a unit that is lacking a little bit in that critical rate, this is going to kind of help you tip off uh, tip off the cap on that. So really nice unit there. Corona, as excited as I was to get this unit, um, I kind of, kind of let it go. It's sitting in my monster box collecting dust. It does provide that second uh, skill similar to the attack uh, the the same one here for Aquila, the, the Fever Time. Um, but in this third skill here, this one actually removes uh, the harmful effects and changes them to a sleep, um, you know, depending on the number of harmful effects removed. The damage base is based on max HP, um, but it's a support-based unit, so the HP is not uh, it's not crazy high. His HP stats are not crazy high. Um, and again, you're it's, it's kind of interesting. You're removing harmful effects in order to sleep, and sleeping is one of those things where it's kind of touchy-feely, depending on the composition you bring. Uh, you could... Uh, you know, potentially knock that sleep off and, and give them an additional turn to go. So this is not one of my favorite Burning Magicians. Unfortunately, as much as I love this unit, I played around with this. If you guys were following me for quite some time, you know that this was one of my key units out there um, running a, a Corona slash Hua Bella kind of approach. Um, I had a lot of I had a lot of Corona DPS Bella approaches that were really fun. Uh, I rocked a Despair set on this one um, with a, I think I had like a Revenge set on like a Despair Revenge. So that all these uh, Bellas out there, when I was coming into the early stages of the game, all those Bellas would go for her. He would, you know, counterattack, stun, you know, uh, lock them down from using their Bella to heal or defense break. It was fun. It was fun. But again, guys, the focus right now for all you guys that are new to the game, if you have the opportunity to farm it, make sure you just take a break. Do what you got to do. Spend those crystals to refill. Get this unit. This will be a clutch unit out there later on down the road okay and then again if you have the opportunity if you're not free to play you're pay to play and you have the opportunity to farm this one up farm this one up and farm it big get those skill ups so that you can go ahead and max out those third skills on orion draco aquila if you need to uh you know whatever you got to do okay get those skill ups draco and around i'm important okay that's my that's my clutch there so that's all i got for you guys today i, I can't i, I don't want to keep on carrying this on the, the moral of the story is get this unit, all right? And uh, rest in peace, Will Rose, all right? So that is it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's your boy Childish, your Childish Place, checking out. Take care, and we will see you next time, guys. We're out.